everyone and welcome back to another edition of my creative bullet journal series. This is the end of November. I cannot believe it. This year flew by and this month has been crazy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to flip through o November for you. I almost said October. Woo! I'm going to flip through November for you and then I'm going to show you December. I am moving into a new bujo because there was no way I had enough room in my old one. So I will be starting a new one in December instead of January, but I'm kind of okay with that. So let's flip through November first. Here we go. And boom. So this was November in my bullet journal. I did like a title page type thing, which I don't usually do. So that was kind of fun. And then this was like supposed to be my memories, but it didn't really pan out. I do have a picture of a few places I went and uh, some of my printables that I made earlier in the month. Then my hustle calendar per usual. This month I put my work calendar with special dates and all of my goals for the month right here. And I really did like that. So I continued that, you'll see. This was my budget stuff. This was my YouTube spread, which I really enjoyed. So I had, when I post a video, like actually get it up, I put it on this calendar. These are all the collaborations I do. And then I kept track of my um, DIY journal series, things I need to film, things I committed to posting. Um, like I always post my creative week video for you guys and the take five. And their request. So I was really happy with that. This, uh, I had moved everything into a tracker this month. I, this is the same, but it used to be here. So I liked that. I added a alcohol tracker again. Some of you re might remember that I did that last year. Um, so I did put that in here. Let's see, this is all my social media stuff and Etsy and everything, so that was good. And then Happy Mail, which I'm super behind on, but I did get a few out, so that's good. Then I um, did change my weekly and daily setup up, <laughs> up, up a little bit, but we'll get to that. So I started out with my weeks looking like this. Um, I had my days up here, to-do list split in two, waiting on buying Happy Mail I needed to reply to, subscriber count, YouTube stuff, just all kinds of stuff. And then these were my dailies. I started just doing a block and using my date stamp, which I'm still obsessed with, to fill in the numbers there. More of those. This was a notepad that was at the house I was house sitting, and I really miss that. I need to get one of these. It's just a little legal yellow pad, but I like it for making shopping lists. It's another weekly. More dailies. And then I did this swatch page here, and I really liked that. And I did these at the same time, so I used the next swatch page as like a weekly thing, kind of. So I have my daily over here, and then I have my weekly to-do list and all of my stuff for the week on this one page. And then I started moving my work schedule onto the week. So I draw out my week in advance and put my work schedule on it and anything I need. And it really, I like how it's working. You'll see it in the new one. Um, I'm always worried that what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so weekly, daily... Um, see I was gone these two days so I just put bubble letters as to where I was and that was that and then that's today so I like I said I only had like 11 pages left before because I used all the perforated ones so I had 11 pages left and that was not enough to do December so for December and next year, I'm moving into this baby. I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time. This is still a Lloydstrom 1917, but it is the 100th anniversary edition. I believe it's 100th, maybe it's 150th. We'll go with 100th, it sounds better. Um, in the copper color. So, yummy. Okay, I have to tell you really quick too. I have been using these stickers 
by Planning with Kay. I don't usually use stickers in my Bujo, but I'm really loving them. I will leave the shop linked below, but I'm obsessed with the crystal and space theme ones. She does have some floral ones, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I really do like them. They're super good quality, and you get three sheets for $5 as a kid. Really can't beat that. So I just put one of those on my title page here. I don't do anything with the table of contents usually. I've set up my calendars through April because usually I can only fit five months in a bujo. But I did leave this next um, page over here blank in case I needed to expand that. That is a tracker that I keep all year long. And then here is the start of December. I just glued this magazine image in because I love it. It's an abandoned um, backyard, I guess. <laughs> and I used one of the crystal stickers there. Then here's my work calendar and I'll fill in my dates and stuff. And then my goals. I haven't filled anything in because I like to show you guys before that. Um, but yeah. Here is my expense tracker. This is my um, YouTube spread. So same thing, posted, collaborations, big things I want to accomplish. It's not filled in because we have some things coming up that I hope to get done. So that's that. These are all of my trackers. This is what I use. I know it says gratitude, but it's going to be my Happy Meal tracker. Uh, I made little envelopes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, yep. Kept my drinking um, tracker and then all the social media stuff. Then I made a Christmas gift spread. Um, I know some of you might have an issue with obligations title, but it is my bujo, so it's okay. Um, so I'm just going to write the person's name up here and what I got them for a gift. So, yep. I didn't know how many boxes I would need, so I just made a bunch of them. And if anything, it's it's pretty gray and blue, you know. So, this is how my weeks are going because the end of December, I mean, the beginning of December happens at the end of the week. I just did the three days and then a little mini, like, weekly to-do thing down here. So, I need to fill that out. Then I went straight into this. So, as you can see, I'm setting up the days in advance. Whereas I used to do it day by day. And I'm filling in my um, cleaning clients as I schedule them. Then this is my weekly. So I kept a little swatch thing. These are going to be my to-dos. Um, and I'm just going to fill that out when I get there. Because it's not quite to that week yet. But yeah. And then I left a little spot for notes. Like my grocery list and stuff. And all through the week. And then the rest is blank. I'll probably put um, some of my collections from the back in here ahead of passwords and addresses like for Happy Mail and um, the back is always a test page so I will put those back there. But that is the setup in my new bullet journal you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful in some way or at least inspiring. Please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Check out the links below, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.